Today you'll be watching a short demonstration comparing the traditional way you would integrate a motor control device to logic controllers and the premier integration used for rock automation motor control devices. We will focus on PowerFlex drives for most of our discussion. Have you ever worked in the integration of drives or motor starters to a controller? More often than not, it requires some pre-work to understand all the parameter addressing tables. This can further complicate your design process by demanding extra time. Let's take a look at how a generic drive is integrated into an Allen Bradley Logix controller using Studio 5000 software. This is what you get when using a generic motor control device in Logix programming environment. In this example, we are considering the integration through Ethernet IP, by far the most popular plant floor network today. Do you know what assembly instance and size your device's I.O. connections are? Most people will need to look that information up. With the limited functionality of a generic profile, you will need to configure the drive with another piece of software and figure out its I.O. size and data format. What does this data look like? What does it mean? And how useful is it? Here you can see that the information is just a list of non-descriptive data. How meaningful is this data for you to use in your programming? It's great if you know what every piece of this information means. However, if you do not, extra work is required to make this data meaningful. Here you can see some documentation of a drive's output data structure with the meaning behind the bits. To add meaning to the params loaded in the profile, one must create descriptive variables or tags and relate them to those parameters. You will need to use the drive's documentation to relate the command with its respective bit address and description on its behavior. You can now notice that we are creating descriptive tags for pump 123 and they are being assigned to the respective bits as described in the drive's documentation. This relationship is known in our controller as tag aliasing. Depending on how many devices you have and the level of detail you wish to integrate them into your program, how long do you think this will take? hours, days? Using a generic module may get the job done, but what if the data configuration with descriptive tags are automatically populated for you? What if you could access wizards, parameters, and configure your motor control device's I.O. from a single interface? With Premier Integration, you can. Let's take a look. Premier Integration is the premier experience for integrating Allen Bradley motor control devices into a Logix control architecture using Studio 5000 software. For this example, we'll be using a PowerFlex 755 drive. We can already see a difference versus the generic module. First of all, we do not have to specify the I.O. connection size or data type. That has been done for us. All you need to know is which PowerFlex module you're going to use in the application. Here we are naming the respective drive module pump123. From the module definition window, we can configure the PowerFlex drive exactly how we need it. From the revision to the drive writing, even have the ability to further define the parameter data that we want to read or write from the motor control device. From the drive page, we have the ability to launch any wizard the device may have, view and change parameters from the parameter list, configure device option modules, and upload and download the device configuration. Notice the descriptive pump123 input and output tags were automatically created for us when we added the PowerFlex 755 drive to the I.O. configuration. These self-documenting tags can easily be used in your programming to write a more meaningful program without the need for creating extra tags and aliasing them like we had to do when working with the generic Ethernet module device. So far, you can already see how Premier Integration makes mapping of a rock automation device into a Logix controller much easier. Usually to configure a generic drive, configuration will be limited to the data that has already been mapped in the controller. Any further configuration will very likely require a separate configuration tool. With Premier Integration, all your configuration can be done entirely with one software tool, Studio 5000, and there is no need to configure your device separately. PowerFlex drives have wizards that will walk you through setting up the parameters that are required to get your application going. Let's take a look at the startup wizard. From here you can enter motor data, run startup tests, configure I.O., and more. 
How often do you scroll through hundreds of parameters to set up basic settings such as speed reference or motor data? With our startup wizard, you don't have to memorize parameter numbers when going through the device configuration process. Startup wizards step you through the commissioning process of your motor control device by asking questions to help narrow down the parameters required for your application. This shortcut eliminates the need to search through manuals for parameter numbers and definitions. The startup wizard is a great way to get started. Any further drive configuration can be done through the drive parameter list. Within the drive profile, you have the ability to go online with the drive to view and change parameters. Parameters are also grouped together based on specific drive functions. For instance, we can scroll down to the application file section and within a few seconds get into the process PID parameter group. Here we can view and configure all the parameters associated with the drive's PID function. Have you ever gotten a call at 3 a.m. to assist with downloading a configuration to a replacement drive? Automatic Device Configuration, or ADC, eliminates this costly, timely, and disruptive problem. Automatic Device Configuration is a productivity-enhancing feature available with some PowerFlex drives. This feature, enabled by Ethernet IP, allows for a Logix controller to automatically detect a replaced PowerFlex 755 drive and download all of the configuration parameters. The IP address is automatically obtained from a managed switch with DHC persistent ports. The drives will be flashed automatically through Logix using Firmware Supervisor. The combination of these Rockwell Automation features can help drastically reduce maintenance time and increase productivity. Have you ever had to wait on the design engineering group to complete their I.O. layout before the programming group could begin writing the controller program? Studio 5000 with Logix Designer can eliminate this issue and enable concurrent development. With Logix, you can write your entire program using meaningful tag names, as shown here, and then assign the physical module and terminal information shown in blue at a later time. This relationship is known in our controller as tag aliasing. You have just seen how Premier Integration can help save you time and reduce errors when integrating a PowerFlex drive with an Allen Bradley Logix controller. It took just 8 minutes to integrate using Premier Integration. In contrast, it took about 3 times longer to integrate a non Allen Bradley drive with the same Logix controller. Just think about how much you can do with all that time you can save by using Premier Integration.